Oh. <laughs> I have like conflict. This is amazing. This is very basic. And then I'm asking for a price and I'm getting a response from you. And then I'm saying, don't buy it. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to the channel. We've got Matty today on the channel reacting to Parfum de Mali fragrances. We've got all of them. So he's going to rate them all for you because you seem to love his honest and really raw reactions to perfumes. <laughs> he doesn't hold back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, this is a perfume and luxury channel. My name is Monica. This is Matty. Let's go. We've got 11 perfumes mm -hmm. from the range. I have done the women's section of Parfum de Mali perfumes, plus some that women wear from the men's section as well. So I've added a few extras. Okay. And you're going to rate them from one being the worst and 10 being the best. We've got really fancy scent strips today. I like those scent strips. Oh, this looks so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. It's like cool. art. Mm. You just spray it on and then the image appears. We'll We'll show it the next one if you can. Yeah, just we do actually it. met the person who produces these scent strips things, and he's done it for the first time for Hermes, and he was such a nice mm. guy. Sorry, but I'm reacting already. You're saying okay. a story, but I'm reacting to this one, and uh, my initial reaction is I like it very much. Very pleasant, very good everyday fragrance for a woman. Yeah, she's very approachable, beautiful, nice. Mm. It's, I, would, I wouldn't say it, it's like super hot, aggressive, sexy kind of fragrance. Mm -hmm. This is like, that would, be, that would be a nice maybe date fragrance, maybe first date fragrance. Mm. Not, you don't want to like... You don't want to be you don't like try overdo too, it. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. try too hard. That's a fragrance to do that. Yeah. But also every day. I'm rating this one 8 out of 10. Okay, very Which is high. very high for me. Yeah, yes, very high. It's very high. It's really nice. I know that Parfum de, Parfum de Mali has some nice fragrances. There you go, that's Delina. Delina La, La Rose. La Rose, yeah. So this is the fresh Delina version. And mm -hmm. personally, one of my favorites because it's just so mm -hmm. light and airy. Okay. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. This is more a little bit more niche leaning. Mm -hmm. Then designer. The previous fragrance was kind of a lot of women would like to wear that fragrance, the one yeah, before. Right. But this one is Popular. a little bit more niche. So mm -hmm. it's not everyone will be like, ah, oh, this is amazing, but I but I like it. I gotta say this is this is eight out of ten as well. Yeah. Really good. Actually, this is the first Parfum de Mali that I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. And it's not usually one of the most popular ones. But yeah. This is my pick. Safanade. Mm -hmm. Very it's nice. It's beautiful. I think it's quite sensual. It's a bit more like... Mm. Slightly darker, isn't it? Like vampy. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit more like, sensual. Safanade. Really underrated. You can spray the next one. Uh, pointing the scent strip to the camera. Okay, but then you'll know what for No, no, I can just okay. look this way. Okay, I'll show you how this... Look at this! It's not looking at the fragrance. I can hear the sounds of the bottle, so you have the bottle, so probably I know <laughs> this fragrance, but... Yeah. But this one, I wore for the last hmm. three days, I think. Ah, okay, that's the one. And that is the thing. If you would not say that comment, mm -hmm. I would be thinking like, what's that? It smells totally different on scent strip than I on agree. in your, when you wear it like in the air. Here, it's an okay fragrance, five out of 10. Mm -hmm. But when Monica wears it, like, because she told me like yesterday in the car, I was like, you smell so nice, mm. like yes. some sort of luxury interior smell. Not like a room refreshener, it's not something like, no, like, like a luxury room. Mm -hmm. That's how I describe that, that scent. Still 8 out of 10, I can't say 9 yeah. because it's not better than the ones before. But so it's I know, I know I'm going safe still keeping mm -hmm. that 8, but it's, it's, uh, it smells excellent in the mm -hmm. air. It's Valaya, isn't it? It's Valaya, yeah. And I do agree that smelling on the paper, it doesn't do it justice. Mm, absolutely. When you apply it on, it just becomes this like really fresh, cotton mm -hmm. just such a nice smell it's super pleasant yeah it's really beautiful and i wore it for the last three days and i got compliments from him twice he didn't realize it was mm -hmm. the same fragrance yeah. and also from my friend when i went out to coffee she's like oh what is it it smells yeah. so nice so this is like a very clean smelling perfume for every day but it, yeah totally try it on your skin yeah, it just definitely. changes. And that's the difference when you are like are listening to videos like this. You can go to a shop and you can just smell it mm -hmm. and be like, ah, this is normal, very <laughs> average. But if you <laughs> like can smell this on somebody, mm -hmm. then it's 
Then it's a game changer. Mm. Really, really nice. Another eight out of ten. I'm waiting for something that will go either bad, <laughs> really bad. Or, or really, really good. Like even better than the ones before. But it's it's actually hard to beat them, the ones mm. before. Next art. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Is it? Yes. So fun. Okay. So. <laughs> Didn't re realize this was going to be the reaction. So fun, so interesting, like so easygoing, but at the same time not too popular like designer. Mm -hmm. It is slightly niche. So good, I love it. That was just my initial reaction. This is a fragrance for a very playful woman, very playful girl. Uh, if, if you're feeling now, I oh, want to get a full bottle. Or, or if you're feeling extroverted, like that's a fragrance for you. I think it's great going out fragrance, but yeah. not to be too serious. So if mm -hmm. you want to black tie kind of event, no. I wouldn't no, go. No, no, no. This is definitely fun. But yeah, I'm so surprised. I'm, I'm, I just want to give it 10 out of 10. Okay. That is, yeah. You've never smelt it before, so it's really nice. Mm -hmm. but, but that's why I like to be shocked. Mm -hmm. So what, do you, nice. what is this? This is called Darcy. Darcy, so I like really it, nice. Darcy. It's kind of like <laughs> tutti fruity, sort of like very fruity and fun. Um, okay. So somebody but, might think that this is not very sophisticated taste, but you saw my reaction. And I think uh, most of the men would react like this. Mm -hmm. Like, you smell so but, nice. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? It's not too fruity though. It's not like your basic mm -hmm. fruity fragrance. This is like, fruitiness is like settled down and it's a bit okay, I, like smooth and I fun. Must, I, I must admit this, I am so surprised. It reminds me of something I can't put my finger on, but like some sort of dessert or and something. And I'm giving Darcy mm. 10 out of 10. What a surprise, never smelled you before. But I love no. you, Darcy. Now I'll have to get a full bottle. <laughs> oh, you see? Yeah. Yeah, this is no, this is this is not it. It's like like a like a fruit taken from a tree, but not a perfume. Okay. Just yeah. like I just I took know what like, you're saying. like a blackberry. Does it have any yeah, blackberry? Yeah, it's got like uh, black currants, I think. Black yeah. uh, actually, I was actually thinking about black currants. Mm. I'm so good Very at this. Very good. I'm, get, I'm <laughs> getting good. But literally, I was like, I can eat it and it's not like, because there are gourmand fragrances that you like so like, oh, I want to mm. eat it. This is not, not gourmand, it's just, it's, it's a bit oh, too like, a, like a black currant juice. That's what I was going to say. It's a bit like that. That's yeah, what I'm thinking. It like, smells like juice. Yeah, I it's don't just... want this on you. Like, do you, know, mm. do you know what I'm saying? This is... It's like Rabina sort of a... Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's what... simple, I would say. So I'm thinking cheap as well. Okay. I'm thinking yeah, it cheap. could be replicated on like a cheap, uh, cheaper designer budget, I'm thinking I thinking this is a cheap fragrance, this is very basic, and then I'm asking for a price, and I'm getting a response from you, and then I'm saying don't buy it. But no. Whereas Darcy would be like, buy it. Don't <laughs> Darcy, go. He's a bad influence, guys. Like, he'll tell me like, you have to get it, <laughs> <laughs> although we've got so many fragrances. <laughs> yeah. So this is Meliora. So you don't like Meliora. See you later, Meliora. But you didn't rate it, did you? I always forget. Okay, I'm gonna rate it three. Uh, three? Three for okay. black currant or current juice, whatever. <laughs> I tell you what, this is like between what I smelled before and the good ones. So it's slightly better than the one before. Mm -hmm. A bit more complex. Yes, it's a bit more complex. It is nice but it's not like wowing me. I'm giving it five out of 10. It's pleasant, but nothing special. And I wouldn't pay that price tag for it. It's Cassili. Cassili, your average. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like a peach sort of a perfume. But I'm not impressed. It does smell like peach, but I know what you're saying. This is to me very young. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah, I agree. So it's for like a younger demographic. Maybe. Yeah, I agree. And it is, and don't get me wrong, I'm disappointed because it's like, I'm not wowed, that's what mm -hmm. I mean, but it's a nice fragrance. Yeah. The one before, I was truly disappointed. Like, mm -hmm. like I don't want to smell like a, like a like current juice, but this one, you could smell like that and you'll be smelling like pleasant. Nice, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. But, but still, this one doesn't uh, project or last too long, so it's also like a downside uh, of this okay. one. Okay, yeah. I don't know if there is anything that can wow me more than Darcy. Let's throw in Spanner in the works. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Sometimes you hear a saying and you think, oh, I know what it means. And then maybe I don't know what it means. Okay. Okay. My reaction this one, to this I'll be interested. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yes, this is a good perfume. 
this is a good perfume. I initially want to say 9 out of 10, so I'm saying it. Mm -hmm. So you can get my initial reaction, 9 okay. out of 10. It is better than Delina La Rose. Okay. It is better than the ones before because they got 8. Apart from Darcy. No, no, yeah, Darcy yeah. is just a killer! <laughs> but this, this is almost a killer. It's very nice. Okay. It's 9. 9 out of 10. I'm sticking with this and I'm trying to tell you why I like it. Because it's a bit more complex, a bit more interesting. I'm intrigued. Mm -hmm. like, I want to talk to this person. Like, yeah. what makes you different? Like, what what is it about you? That's what I'm thinking when I'm smelling I like this. this one as well. Yeah. This one is Pegasus and it's from the men's line. Ooh, but that is a women, twist. That's why you said that weird yeah. phrase. <laughs> but women do wear it and I do find that this has got some like similarity with your hypnotic poison, but like on steroids and very like sexy. I love that you made that twist because I can 100% imagine a woman wearing this. Mm -hmm. I, love I that almost you... would prefer this on a woman than a man. Mm -hmm. like in... I love that you made that twist. I 100% agree. Don't mm -hmm. care that it's marketed towards men. It's, get this one yeah. and it's a it's a it's almost a killer i'm gonna say yeah, it's, it's a like killer, an but almondy no. but like a really <sighs> sensual scent really piercing like absolutely you can really smell absolutely it. amazing scent mm -hmm. if you're not confident buying like a whole bottle just get get yourself a sample we're linking samples below as well in the yeah. description below so check it out but it's really nice 100 i want to get a bottle of this one because yeah it doesn't remind me of like your hypnotic poison but like on steroids mm, so good but so good. Next one. I gotta be objective. In, 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 ob objective. In touch with my uh, my emotions. How I'm feeling when I'm smelling this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, mm. I have like conflict. That's not a that, good emotion. That, that, that's like conflict. But, but, but give me a moment because sometimes yeah. it changes. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Still no. I think. I know what that is, and I'm pretty consistent with this fragrance. Mm. I think this is Oriana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I still, I'm not convinced. Okay. I'm giving it four slash five, maybe four and a half out of ten. Let's okay. stick with this one. I'm still not convinced to this fragrance. It's like candy. It's not like a nice proper perfume. It's okay. too much like candle candy. Okay. Sorry yeah. for me. So it's just too juvenile, too like just childish because of childish. the yeah. Your just vocabulary is so sophisticated. I didn't know the word juvenile. <laughs> I was just trying to I don't know, go along and. So Oriana, you're no good. This is like a. Not for me, but it's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can imagine that people, uh, women, can love this fragrance. Uh, I but, think it's a very nice me. everyday scent mm. for me, but it does. Monica smell recommends this like fragrance. marshmallows, yeah. like orange, but like orange zest with like sugar on top. To me, it's very fun. So I do like it because like when I'm in that mood to have like a fun scent, mm -hmm. then this is what I wear. But I do get what you're saying. It's like, it's so happy, so like sugar overload that, you know, mm. maybe it's not like a fragrance that you're like, oh, it's a wonderful perfume, you know? Mm. Okay, we've got three left. And the only one that is missing from this list is the Delina exclusive. I think we can just say, agree that, you know, all of them are similar and he likes them. Stay in touch with your emotions, Machi. Very nice. Okay. Very, nice. Very nice. I'm I'm satisfied. Uh, my senses are happy. <laughs> Let us know, by the way, which one is your favorite Far From Dumali uh, perfume in the comments. But this is not getting 9 or 10. It is like between 7 and 8, so it's nice. It's pleasant. Out. Is it nicer than Valaya? It's nicer on the scent strips. A sense trip for sure, but up in the air, I'm not sure. But so. I don't get compliments from you when I wear Delina, though. But with Valaya, I do. Oh, uh, what is it? Delina. You didn't tell me. You just said it now. Mm. But I, I love Delina like so much. Well, that's why I am not loving it now. I think because you've smelled so many great fragrances, and. Ooh, okay. So you're telling me I'm getting more sophisticated and picky. Maybe. But you do comment on Valaya, which got an 8. And you do, do comment on uh, Delina La Rose, which got an 8. And on and then I said here, 7.5 kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. on, on this one, you don't comment as much when I wear it. So that's why I'm just saying that maybe it's like a 7 or something. I said five. my senses are pleased, are satisfied. It is nice. It smells beautiful now to me. But it's not wowing me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I have to be honest, maybe I'm changing, but it's still a very nice fragrance. I said that, I can feel 
Okay, yeah. I'm I'm consistent. Here. Yeah, but they're all really nice fragrances. Yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard <laughs> to tell which one is the best. Yeah, but still, I would I would recommend it. Obviously, it's it's a great fragrance. It didn't wow me today, mm -hmm. probably because there is a new kid on the block, <laughs> <laughs> Darcy, Darcy just... who is uh, winning Parfum de Mali. <laughs> Let's. Uh, yes, for now. At the moment, let's do okay. the next one. So Shall this we? one was a seven. Seven and a half. Seven let's and a half. Do it, yeah. okay. I'm sorry, Delina. I feel like I'm betraying this fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> raw emotion, raw opinion. Whoa, 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 whoa. that is complex. <laughs> more, more, more things are happening here. But it's positive. Generally, very positive fragrance. Is there, is is there a little bit of oud there? It is a tiny bit oriental. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not. They're being, not always. I'm not being very moments. decisive. Maybe that tells you something. I'm not wowed. Yeah, six. Okay. Six, because it's nice, but yeah, that's, that's that's it. I don't have much to say about it. I don't have to say a lot of words yeah. about every fragrance. That's this it. one is, uh, again, a men's one that women mm -hmm. enjoy wearing, okay. and it's called Herod. It's like a tobacco, okay. spicy tobacco scent. I like it, but yeah, I've worn it before and you were like, oh, I don't know if you like it, so. Consistency. Consistency. <laughs> last one? The last one. Okay, mm. give me either a flop or a super hit. I don't have to close my eyes. I can see yeah, it's a can't. sample, but I tell you what, this smells like one of men, uh, kind of men's fragrances that we have. This smells quite masculine to me. Okay. But I like uh, masculine leaning fragrances on women. Mm -hmm. So this that's a good sign because it's not masculine like this is too masculine. Like mm -hmm. what are you wearing? Yeah, but it's not quite. This is like... like this. This woman is so confident in her femininity that she doesn't have to wear only pretty floral girly scents. She can wear this and she can still pull it off and she's feeling confident. She knows she's a woman. She doesn't like have to, you know, to <laughs> She do. doesn't have to like... <laughs> she just likes this fragrance. So she thought... Today I'm just gonna wear this masculine fragrance. I don't care. What are you going to rate it? Eight. Would you like me Eight. to wear it? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a solid one, but just like a different vibe. Different vibe, yes. If you're no, feeling like you want to do something else, something a bit more masculine, so maybe more unisex, I would say then. It's definitely more unisex, and I do agree, it's not as floral as uh, the other Parfum de Marlis. It's definitely more spicy and woody, and it's got a fire. Fire, but is this still uh, marketed towards women? Yeah, towards women, women yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I think it's got a darker bottle, if I remember correctly, okay. so it's more like a... Yeah, they're trying to make it more like a moodier scent. And cool. I think it's moodier. So, so my favorite my was definitely favorite was Darcy. Can I smell it again, let please? Let me just try. Oh, no, my, our dog just farted so badly. Oh. <sighs> Darcy. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. <laughs> I love this fragrance because it's so easy going. It's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. And not that it's super fresh. I'm saying it's refreshing in its easygoingness. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yes, Pegasus. That was a surprise. <laughs> Very different fragrances, but both... This one's more sexy, this one's more... Just fun. Yeah, these two winners. Absolute winners. Darcy and Pegasus were the top ones. I'll link my favorite niche shop because I've got a discount for you guys of 10%. So that is a great one on any niche fragrances because you usually don't get discounts on these. So I'll link it down below. And I'll also link samples so you can test them if you want to just get a couple and just have fun. That's a wonderful way to discover perfumes. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite perfume from the range. Yeah, give Machi a thumbs up because like, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you very soon. See you bye. then, bye.